SGC here, and today's movie review is My Awkward Sexual Adventure. That's awkward. So directed by Sean Garrity, Garrity? you know, might know him from Blood Pressure that came out in 2012, Lucid in 2005, and Inertia in 2001. I have not heard of this guy, so yeah. The cast is pretty much unknown for me. I mean, you got your main dude, Jonas Chem Chernick? Chernick? And then Emily Hampshire, and then Sarah... Sarah Maninen. And that's pretty much all the big names. Though you got uh, Vic Sahal from like, you know, Chuck fame TV show. And yeah, so pretty much the entire storyline goes where you have the main character who wants to win his girlfriend back and he's like very conservative accountant and then he somehow enlists help from like an exotic dancer to like, you know, to get better at his sexual experience because pretty much the reason for his breakup was that his girlfriend felt that he was not meeting her standards sexually. So yeah, pretty much things happen as a, this dancer like tells him what to do, makes him feel better about himself, and then it's just like increases his like self-confidence in himself. So what did I like about this film? First off, it's a Canadian film, so clap, clap, clap. I'm very happy that like this film gave a sense of like a normal Hollywood, you know, this sort of like sexual comedy like romance film vibe so that's pretty good I mean it, it did not feel that it was like lower because it was from Canada like it didn't like sure like any normal audience would felt that it was American maybe but um yeah I'm glad that it's like it's it's not like less but, but I feel that it's more so what I liked about this was like the whole initial storyline of it breaking up as in like the girlfriend felt he didn't satisfy her so they broke up and then she went to explore her sexuality sort of thing and I feel that it's like a sort of legit you know like like storyline like unlike the other ones where it's like cheating and everything like those those other romance comedies and then the, girl, the guy wants her back despite the fact that she cheated on him though yeah anyway but um yeah I, I enjoyed the fact that it was like this storyline and then like the 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 conservatism of his sexual experiences was like a legit like you know nowadays people there are people that are conservative and they don't know things about sex and and then I guess to be knowledgeful it's good if you're into that sort of stuff the whole interaction between like Jonas Turner playing Jordan Abrams and Emily Hampshire playing Julia Bow I think they were really great together like it was like a legit it was like a you know, possible occurrence, as in he was giving her something and she helped him back by teaching him stuff. Like, he, he was like, oh, I'm an accountant, I'll fix your, like, tax credit and all that stuff. Like, there was, like, a, a like a two-way streak relationship rather than, like, oh, I, whoa, you're interesting, can you teach me stuff? Okay, like, something that, like that. At least the, the, the storyline was sort of, like, it could have happened, like, potentially. So, also... You, Despite the uh, the title of this movie, Awkward Sexual Adventure, there isn't that much, like, rated R stuff. I mean, there was, like, one massage scene, and then there's, I think, one... Like, there's not a lot of nudity, surprisingly. And then, I think it's more ingrained in the whole, like, the awkward sexual adventure in the name of itself, that it really addresses how awkward he is with his sexuality. And I think that was a good way to go, instead of just trying to be a raunchy, rated R comedy, sexual comedy. And I think it was fine, like, that he was just trying to figure out himself, like, what he needed to, like, you know, up himself. And, and yeah, so what did I not like? Um, there's not much not to like. Oh, what I f one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, the relationship between Jordan and Rachel, like, you know, the boyfriend-girlfriend. Like, there's this existing love and hate, and I really love how they portray that. Like, it was clearly, like... Rachel's wrong for our main guy, Jordan, but yet Jordan's like always mentioning all these things that like, oh, in the past we did this, in this past, blah, 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 blah. And I think that it's like a legit like reasoning from a guy when he breaks up with a girl. It's like, oh, I loved you since I was 12 sort of thing. And so, yeah, I find this film genuine. Like, like you may see it as a raunchy romance comedy, but I don't think that. I feel that after watching it anyway, that it's like, it, it, it really addresses the awkwardness that guys might go through with their sexuality. So, totally, yeah, this was an enjoyable film. And plus, it's Canadian, so I give high props to it being Canadian. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I didn't 
dislike it that much. Like, no, I didn't have no dislikes for it, pretty much. So yeah, that's my review of the My Awkward Sexual Adventure. See ya.